We're going to try and determine what sort of herbivores have been here and look for evidence for them. Well, there's some evidence right here, Bill. Oh, okay. What scat's that? Go on. It's the only way to know. Ben, it's wallaby. Is it? Great. I'm so glad I didn't step in that. In a previous episode of TRU, it was a classic case of while the cat's away, the mice will play. Was wasn't there, so Bill and Chris used the opportunity to find a brand new site to investigate. They drove out, they scouted around, and then they set up for an awesome night investigation using a brand new infrared or IR camera and illuminator. It was awesome. I've got Terence the cat out thylacine here and I had an idea for an experiment and that is that we're going to put him out in the bush in a remote area have some infrared cameras around him and put a carrot out in front and see if the herbivores are going to be brave enough to come out and eat in front of this thylacine shape. We're also going to pick another location put a carrot out there no thylacine shape and see if the animals there are a little bit braver. Either way it's a good decoy and if there is a thylacine out here they might come and investigate this because it's an interesting shape. So, let's get going. I almost impaled myself. Terrence is okay though, that's the main thing. Bill? Yeah? Just as you were walking down there. Yeah? G. Terrence blends in, he's so well camouflaged against the button grass. Yeah, what's he like when we do this? Yeah, that looks awesome. Just go to the grey side. Yeah, that's amazing. Reminds me of that experiment video we did. We, yeah, for sure. I think you should put a link to that video, it's a bloody good video. Well, better get going. This is exactly the sort of location I'm looking for. There's a nice open bit here. So animals that are approaching would see the shape. It's hard when it's a camouflage, but if we were to put Terence here somehow. We have to strap him down somewhere. But then we can set the cameras in a way that we can monitor the animals as they come in and hopefully take the bait or not, which would be even more interesting. Uh, I was just setting Terence up so that uh, hopefully the shape can be seen by herbivores or thylacines. Looking good. So I'm strapping him down so he doesn't blow away. Thinking if we put one camera here, Bill, shooting that way. I think I'll get uh, indisputable proof of uh, Sasquatch behaviour. Yeah, apparently Sasquatches have been known to set up cameras to get thylacines. Can't blame them. What's the use of having a uh, opposable thumb if you can't set up cameras with it? Exactly right. Break the, ca break the carrot to let out some aroma. Now, what's not going to take that? We'll see. 
we've just put out two cameras shooting across one another and that gives us two different angles at the same time at the same time stamp if anything walks in front just uh, gives a little bit extra credibility to any evidence that we may get This is the site for our second camera trap. We've chosen it for a couple of different reasons. And the first is that it's a nice natural clearing surrounded by quite dense bush. There's a couple of different game trails that crisscross this area. So the herbivores will be following those game trails to the food and hopefully the big carnivores are following those herbivores as the food. The other thing about this area is that it might only be 30, 40 meters from the other camera trap Therefore, we're sort of utilizing the same parameters, but it's not in line of sight. So anything that visits this camera trap can't see the thylacine silhouette at the other camera trap. We think it's a pretty perfect situation. And our camera's on. Pop the bait down. The bait <laughs> is down. Right, let's go. So we've put these cameras out to sort of see what the herbivores do, how they're going to react to the thylacine shape and what does that prove? Does it prove that they are frightened of thylacine and does that mean they've seen thylacines? We don't really know. All we really hope to do from here is an experiment of interest. Is there going to be any reaction at all? It would be interesting. Or we could actually get a thylacine. Come on, Cranky, I'm too good for a scat, Chris. Okay. Later. <laughs> 